So you've made your first deck on Boom Learning. Congratulations. Now you want to sell them on Teachers Pay Teachers. What do you do? So there are a couple things that you need to do in order to sell them on Teachers Pay Teachers and you've come to the right place because I will tell you. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Lorianne and this is It's All Primary. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Be sure to tap that subscribe button and bell so you don't miss any future videos. Here at It's All Primary, we talk about teacher productivity and teacher side hustles. So we're in the middle, well, we're almost near the end of a series on boom cards. And now if you have not seen any of my videos, I will just tell you very quickly, I love boom cards. My very first sale as a teacherpreneur came from Boom Learning. So they have a special place in my heart. <laughs> so up until this time, we've been really talking about just how do you make Boom cards? How do you make them from PowerPoint? And I will put cards up above here. So if you want to check those out or you can check them out at the end of this video. Before I turn the camera around to show you some of the things that we need, you need to do in order to get your cards ready to sell on Teachers Pay Teachers, I wanna share two things that are absolutes in this. The first one is you have to have an ultimate membership with Boom Learning. There is no other membership that will allow you to sell Boom Cards from Boom Learning. They offer, I think, five different memberships. The only one that will let you sell to other marketplaces is the ultimate membership. It costs at the date of this uh, video, $35 a year, which uh, honestly, I made that back in my first two, three months on Boom. They take off 15%, which is actually better than Teachers Pay Teachers. Teachers Pay Teachers takes off 20%, and then they also take off on an additional 15 cents if your product is below $3. I have several products on Boom Learning that are under $3 that I'm not selling on Teachers Pay Teachers. I'm just currently selling them on Boom Learning because I don't get that extra 15 cents knocked off through Boom, Boom Learning. I just get that 15%. So a dollar product, if I sold it on Teachers Pay Teachers, would net me about 65 cents. That's if it's not on sale. If it's on Boom Learning, I will make 85 cents. And you may think, well, that's only a small amount, but if you're selling many of them, it, that can be a lot of money after a while. So that's must have number one. The other thing you need to know is that when you are trying to sell your boom cards on another marketplace, you are not really selling the boom cards. The boom cards sit in Boom Learning and they don't go anywhere. You can't take them out of Boom Learning. They stay in Boom Learning. What you're doing is you are selling a link to Boom Learning. So that's why we're going to need to make a PDF that you will upload when people buy your Boom cards in Teachers Pay Teachers. They're going to open up a PDF with a link to Boom Learning. So those are the two things you really need to know. We're going to do a couple other little things. So I'm going to turn the camera around and start showing you some other stuff. We're going to start in Boom Learning. So you need to go to back to your set of Boom cards. So go to Studio and down to your Make Deck. Deck. I'll show you one of the existing decks in that are that is actually in Teachers Pay Teachers. So your deck is done. So we're not going to look at anything regarding the deck. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the details up just above the deck. You're going to click on details and this information has to be filled out. You start with the grades. This was one of my first decks, so the pricing is probably off. One of the things I noticed that I didn't do, which I highly recommend because when people are searching for your boom cards, they might, you want uh, some keywords in there so that yours will show up. I need to add addition to addition. I'll just do addition math. Addition to 50, find the sum. So just put in a bunch of keywords that you want people to be able to find you if they type them in. So that's this one. So that's grades, keywords, your price. Right now I have it on randomized. If I was to have a page 
where I left instructions and I do actually have a set of boom cards where the first page has instructions on them. I want to make sure that I go in here where it says don't shuffle in and then I could say the first page. Maybe your first three pages have instructions or samples that you don't want shuffled in. You could go uh, don't shuffle in three so I think it's number one two and three are not going to get shuffled in. So again if you have instructions on the first page or sorry the first card or the second card then make sure to go in there and type in either one or two or which whichever and then i'm going to go to subject clicking mathematics for mine this if i right now i have on screen keyboard as none if you want to put a keyboard showing on your cards or i think it's just below your cards then go ahead and put that in and it gives you the languages or math or numbers i've never actually even used them i haven't even seen any in particular that offer that on-screen keyboard. So I just leave it at none and then I go to about and I treat the description very similar to my TPT description. This is one of my early decks. I just was filling in things. <laughs> I'm I think one of my one of my during the next large break I might start going back to all of these and rewriting them a little bit. Um, one of the things that is great about boom learning is they're no prep and I always try and type that in no prep and they are self grading that is always a good thing for teachers they don't have to grade them but they get a report depending on what type of membership they have the people that purchase your cards by the way have to have even the free account but they have to have an account or they can't watch them if someone ever asks you that they need an account and down here with in acknowledgements, you need to put down all the clip art artists and font artists that you used. That is why, again, it's part of me trying to create a cohesive teacher pay teacher store and brand. I'm sticking with a limited number of clip art artists and font. So I use KG fonts. I use EduClips for the bulk of my backgrounds. Fun for learning, I really like the numbers. I think someone asked, do you need to write those down if you keep yours private? I would, because maybe down the line you might publish it, and if you publish it and forget to do that, you could get in trouble. I think it's just a good habit to always acknowledge whether it's, you know, make an acknowledge uh, credits page, even if it's going to stay private. You just never know what's gonna happen in the future. And then the last one, here is the one you need when it comes to teachers, pay teachers, or any other marketplace. This is normally unclicked. You've got to make sure that it's there. And then they will give you two links that you need. The first link is what we call a preview link. You can give that link, the green one, to anyone. So if you wanted to even um, put that link in your Instagram where you've got your links if you wanted to put that in there you could right because what that link is going to do is it go it's going to take the person who uses it to a preview of your deck and they will be able to look at the first four cards the first four you've got two more this is the one that is really important here is the link that people purchase in Teachers Pay Teachers. It's red, which means don't give it out. You're going to create a PDF and you're gonna put that link in the PDF. And that link doesn't change. So even if you close out of here, you can go back and it's still there, okay? And then the link below is for a non-TPT. Maybe you have WooCommerce on your own website and you wanna sell Boom Cards that way. That's your link. This link is for non-TPT. So there's this link. So you're going to have to copy this. That is all you need for Boom. Now what you need to do is you need to open up PowerPoint. You could probably do this in Google Slides. But now you need to get yourself a PDF that you are going to upload to Teachers Paid Teachers. There is one more thing you might want to do before you leave Boom Learning. And that is within your deck. I'm in another deck at the moment. Go up to Preview. And I mean, go through them again, make sure that they're all okay, play them. But what, I, what I'll also do is I will take a couple screenshots of 
the actual cards and I will put them in the PDF and then I will put them as samples in Teachers Pay Teachers. So um, I'm on a Mac right now, so I'm going to go um, Command uh, Shift 4 and then I'm going to put just a screenshot around this part of it, the deck, right? Um, I would love to be able to get it with the four, but I doesn't always work that way. I I, I do one, I can do one wrong and get a screenshot of that. And so I'll take. Usually I take anywhere from three to four different ones just to have them there, especially if I have different types of questions I will get I will take a screenshot of both types the more samples I can give the better chances that people will see enough to say yes I want to buy it another reason I'm going to use those screenshots is because I still need to create a cover image for this deck of cards I need a cover image for in boom learning and I need a cover image for uh, teachers pay teachers the cover images that you put in Boom Learning, um, Boom Learning recommends them being 300 by 300 in pixels in size. So I usually create them in Canva and then I will resize them and uh, create them for teachers, paid teachers. So just something you got to keep mindful of is get a nice picture on there. It will help sell them. <laughs> Okay, what I did was I created a slide. This is going to be part of the PDF. I think it's kind of fun to find a, some sort of clip art that showcases either a laptop or an iPad or something like that that you can put a picture, one of your cards in. Just, it, I don't know, it, it just makes it look cool. And then what I want to do is I want to make a um, arrow I actually have arrow clip art. They, they have arrows in the shapes if you don't want to buy them, but sometimes during TPT sales, I will go buy clip art because I just like it so much. Oh yeah, these these ones are from Whimsy Clips. These ones, and there she's, let me just get the right color. I want kind of a purplish, there we go. Do that one. Just, oops, there it goes. So I use one of those. Make it smaller. And then I will insert a text box. You don't have to do this. I just, I find, I don't know, you, you want to just kind of add something fun for your buyer to enjoy. So I will say in very large writing, click here for your boom cards and let's change the font so I'll do something like that and then what I will do is I will take that image so I'll click on it and I will turn it into a link and then from that link, I will insert the that red link that was in Boom Learning. So it will go right in here, and then you hit OK. And then you have it in here. So that is one part of your Boom Cards. Give a PDF explanation. So let me get open that up for you. So I made a PDF and in this PDF, I do terms of use, give credit again to the people that I've used their clip art and fonts and including those that I create use when I'm making my actual PDF because I use clip art and fonts in my PDFs as well. I will acknowledge them. I make a comment and I so I've written this up on the on Boom Learning and I also found it in some different sellers. I just looked at what they wrote and I kind of created my own from it. But some of this is directly taken from Boom Learning. And just go into their um, help center and they will have that there. But basically I say that you must be connected to internet in order to use Boom Cards. You'll get a, a free trial offered to you. I put the Boom Card logo and then on the second page is just a terms of use 
what you can and cannot do. These cannot be shared. I mean, that goes against the terms of use for the clip art artists. And, and then I kind of squeeze in all the clip art artists that I use on this, I used in this particular PDF and the boom cards together and where they can reach me, things like that. Okay. And so it's two pages, basically. One is an explanation how to use them and boom learning in general. And then the second one is the terms of use and credit to all the artists involved in putting this these boom cards together. And so those are the big ones. So after you've created your, your PDF that's going to have a picture with your link to the boom cards and then a PDF that's going to be your terms and use, terms of use and your credits. You've got now two PDFs. So what do you do? You create a folder. So you're going to put both of those in the folder. And what I usually do is I, when I'm naming them, the one with the link, I will always start it with one dot <laughs> start here so that when they open up the folder, they know that's the one they need the most. Okay. And then the other one says, the other one is named two dot T O U terms of use um, underscore credits. So they know what that is without having to open them up again, create, rename them uh, after they've been flattened in everything, because that that's required as part of your terms of use. You've got to flatten them. I use Adobe and I secure them so they can't be, you know, used, reused by somebody. Then I put them in a folder and that zip and then zip that folder, compress it. And then that's what you're going to upload to teachers pay teachers. And if there's anything else about boom learning or teacher side hustles in general, teachers pay teachers that you would like to get more information about, just put a comment down below. I'll put links to some of the other boom card videos below as well. So you can just click them and, and feel free to watch those. So if you got any value from this video, please click the like button and again, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I am so thankful for those of you who have subscribed and who watch these videos. So next week's video is still is going to be on boom learning and it's going to be about some of the different buttons in boom learning that you can utilize. And as I've mentioned, I love them and I keep learning so many wonderful things about them. Um, happy Thanksgiving to all my American friends and, and the American um, online community. Wherever you are in the world, I pray that you are staying safe. Take care of yourself, take care of your family, and we will see you in the next video.